Chapter 5 Introducing Windows 10 Switching on the Computer To switch on the computer, follow the steps given below. Step 1, turn on the main switch. Step 2, switch on the CPU. Step 3, switch on the monitor. Now, Windows 10 is displayed on the monitor. The computer is now ready to use. Software The programs and instructions that run the computer are called software. There are two types of software. System software. System software is the main software used to run the computer. Operating system like Windows 10 is system software. Application software. Application software is used to do a particular task on the computer. Notepad is application software. Windows 10 is one of the most popular software used across computers. It controls the overall working of the computer. The first screen displayed after switching on the computer is called desktop. The desktop is made up of the start button, task bar, and icons. Components of the desktop Start button Start button contains the start menu. It is used for opening programs or documents, shutting down the computer and for many other functions. Taskbar Taskbar is the long bar at the bottom of the desktop. It includes the start button, search box and date and time. It allows to switch between two files or documents which are open. Icons Icons are shortcuts to the programs you use often. Each icon is a symbol of a particular file, folder or program. Shutting down the computer After you have completed your work, you need to shut down your computer. The following are the steps to shut down the computer. Step 1, click on Start. Step 2, click on the power button on the left corner of the Start menu and click on Shut Down. Step 3, the shutting down message will be displayed on the monitor. Once the computer is shut down, you can turn off the main switch. Chapter 6 Typing in WordPad WordPad is an application used to create, edit, view and print documents such as letters, notes and posters. WordPad is capable of doing more than Notepad, however it is not as advanced as Word 2016. How to open WordPad 1. Click on Start in the taskbar 2. The Start menu is displayed 3. Scroll down in the Start menu and find Windows Accessories 4. The menu expands, click on WordPad 5. The WordPad window opens File menu It is the first menu on the ribbon it includes options to create a new document. Open and previously saved document. Save a document for future use. Print a document. And exit WordPad. Home tab. Home tab is the first tab on the ribbon when you open a new document. It includes groups like clipboard, font, paragraph, insert, and editing. Clipboard group. Clipboard group is the first group on the ribbon. It includes cut, copy, and paste functions. Font group. Font group provides you with options to change the font and font size of the text. Other text formatting options like bold, italics, underline, and strike through can be added to the text. Paragraph group Paragraph group helps you to align the text either left, right, or center. Insert group. Insert group contains options to insert pictures in the document. 
add drawings using paint. And add date and time. And various other objects. Editing group. Editing group is the last group on the ribbon. The select all function lets you select all the text in the document. Chapter 7 Editing in WordPad. In the WordPad window, observe the white blank area, it is called the working area. You will see a straight blinking line in the working area, which is called the cursor. Now, using the keyboard, you can start typing. Example, type the parts of the computer. Remember, to move the cursor to the next line, press the Enter key on the keyboard. How to save document on WordPad 1. Click on the File tab. 2. The File menu options is displayed. 3. Click on Save as option and click on Rich Text Document. 4. The Save as dialog box will open. 5. Choose the location of your choice. 6. Type the name of the document in the file name box. And click on Save. 7. Now, the document is saved on the computer. How to close WordPad? 1. Click on File tab. 2. The File menu options is displayed. 3. Click on Exit. Or click on the Close X button on the top right corner of the title bar.